Hello, I'm Matthew Koffenberg, physical therapist and owner of Perm Physical Therapy. Today we're going to conclude our three-part series on concussion. And with just let's just do a brief review on the first two uh, episodes. In episode one, we talked about how a concussion affects the brain. Now remember, a brain acts very much like a filing cabinet. It's got its many files organized. If you need a memory um, or if you need to control your balance or your senses, it can really just open up that filing cabinet and grab it and there it is. After a concussion, however, that filing cabinet has been knocked over and everything uh, is thrown everywhere. And it's very difficult then for your brain uh, to find the pieces of information that it needs. And then in part two, we talked about the neurochemical environment of the brain after a concussion. Remember, the brain gets inflamed and then the body releases what's called a tau protein, or T-A-U, the tau protein that helps uh, get rid of that inflammation. However, uh, if that inflammation sticks around a little too long, meaning if you uh, continue to be active or you continue to do activities that create symptoms, that inflammation sticks around a little too long and then the tau protein sticks around a little too long and then that, that tau protein will actually lead to, uh, to brain damage or brain cell death. So it's really critical that we rest uh, and that we don't push through symptoms to allow the tau protein to do what it needs to do and then to leave. Today we're going to talk about uh, the role of a physical therapist in the management of a concussion. Now the physical therapist will deal with three basic things when it comes to concussion management. Uh, the first one is pain. Uh, you know, most people who have a concussion will have head pain, but they'll also have neck pain. Because if you think about it, um, a lot of concussion injuries are potentially like whiplash type injuries. So there's often neck pain associated with this. Uh, and then, you know, four or five episodes ago, um, I, did, I did an episode on cervicogenic headaches. So I certainly would invite you to go back and look at that. But because that really talks about how the neck uh, really leads to a lot of potential headaches. And so we as therapists can really help you manage your neck pain as well as your head pain following a concussion. The second aspect of a concussion that a therapist can really help deal with uh, is your balance system. Uh, you know, a lot of times we'll do what are called pre-concussion screenings uh, for people. This is, you haven't had a concussion, you come see us and we can do a real quick screen. Uh, and part of that screen is usually a balance assessment. So when we do the balance assessment, most people will have one, two, three errors at the most. Um, it's, uh, most people's balance is really quite good. But then after you have a concussion and we do that same test, people often will have 11, 12, 13 balance errors. So a concussion really affects our balance. Uh, and the reason for that is, it is, is when the brain has been injured, it affects what's called our somatosensory system. Now what is that? The somatosensory system is that system within our body that helps tell us where we are in space. So if I were to close my eyes and move my wrist, I know my wrist is moving down or I know my wrist is moving back. I'm not seeing it happen, but I can sense it's happening. And that sense is our somatosensory system. And that's really critical to balance. So if I'm standing on one leg and if I start to shift in one direction, my body senses that and so then it contracts muscles to pull me back into a, a good upright posture. And if you think about it, life is balance. You know, we're standing a lot, we're walking a lot, we're trying to maintain that balance. So that really is critical that our somatosensory system is intact. So we as therapists really have great tools and techniques to help facilitate your somatosensory system. The third component that we deal with uh, in therapy after a concussion is called your vestibulo-ocular reflex or your VOR. That is your vision communicating with your inner ear. So our inner ear is basically filled with fluid. When I turn, that fluid sloshes around, it stimulates our nervous system and it tells me that I've turned. So if my body turns, that fluid moves and it tells me that I've turned. Well, a lot of times that needs to communicate with what I see. So a really easy example to think about is reading. So when I'm reading, a, a lot of times we're doing really subtle, not this much, but really subtle neck movements, but my eyes are focused on what I'm reading. So when my head turns this one direction, my eyes still maintain that focus on, on whatever it is that I'm reading. So my eyes usually will shift in the opposite direction that my head is turning. 
after a concussion, that whole system kind of gets knocked out of whack. So if I'm reading and my head is turning a little bit, my eyes might not be communicating quickly enough with how my head is turning. Therefore, I could get a headache, I could get nauseous, um, I could get dizzy, uh, because that system is just not communicating uh, really quickly enough. The other example is while you're driving. You know, the car is moving, you're seeing a lot of things move, your head is turning, and that whole system might not be communicating fast enough so you get dizzy or nauseous or you get a headache. So we've got lots of tools and therapy to help with that. We do a lot of visual training, we do a lot of eye exercises. Um, so we do a lot of things to help restore your VOR. Thank you so much for uh, uh, viewing these videos that we've done on concussion. Concussions are incredibly important. Your brain is you. Your brain is your memories, your personality, your balance. It's everything. If you have any uh, concerns about potentially having a concussion, please contact me or contact your doctor. My number here is 218-346-2464 and I thank you again for listening. Thank you for watching Wellness for Life.